All right, Mr. Tedford, I wanted to make a video for you so you could kind of see this thing a little bit closer than me just sending you a bunch of pictures. Um, I'm going to try to do this kind of quick because it takes a little while for uh, for my uh, videos to upload. But um, we'll walk around the outside, then we'll go around the inside real quick. Um, my favorite thing on this whole coach, every coach for that matter, is an air horn. Got to have an air horn. Um, but of course it's uh, full body paint. Um, looks as good as the, the day it was purchased, I'm sure. Big storage bays. These ones actually flip up. Can't really store much in there. This is kind of nice too. This is what they call easy store. Where the storage bays actually come out with the slide. So you don't have to get underneath the slide to uh, use them. I believe on the other side they are underneath the slide though. A little shot of your uh, docking station. Santa flush, black tank flush, clean out your uh, clean out your stuff, outdoor shower. Kind of walking around on there. Got awnings, manual awnings over all the windows. Get a look at the back. It's in really good shape. There's your uh, rear view camera up there. Slide toppers on all four slides. And there's another little awning over that window. And this is actually, actually I thought you had to get underneath, but this one's actually, I opened it up, it's got a slide tray. Um, of course you got entry door awning, which doesn't really do a whole lot of good except for maybe if it's raining outside and you got the screen door or something like that and you want to keep it open, you won't get all the water in there. front it's got about I think 31,000 miles on it um, it's very clean it's the evolution chassis which it sounds like you've done your research on the product so you probably already knew it had that type of chassis on the inside here too it's very clean we haven't really even touched it yet this is just basically the the state that it was left in when uh, when they dropped it off obviously once we sell it we put it into service for two or three days go through the whole coach fix whatever needs fixing clean whatever needs cleaned um, I think it will look brand new when you come pick it up but it kind of already does now this is the uh, what they call the computer workstation dinette this does have an extra leaf right here that'll pop out Give you seating for four. I believe in one of the storage bays it's got two more matching folding chairs so you could sleep for there or seat four there. It's got a little Euro recliner and ottoman. Of course you got your seats there that'll spin around. Now Mrs. Tedford if you'll look at this window I hate to say it but they do not go all the way down to the floor. Um, that is something if you guys end up not liking this coach, I will keep my eyes open for. But right now, I don't have anything like that in a Horizon, a, a Vectra, or anything like that. Um, but I'm definitely looking every day. Here's the sofa slash love seat um, electric control. Instead of it's a jackknife, you just push that out. You can also use it to recline a little bit. Of course, there's seat belts back there. This being a Winnebago, this is a, one of the Winnebago is one of the safest coaches you can buy. Um, basically, you can't really see it, but from the slides forward, it's almost like a like a gorilla style cage um, within the walls. Uh, really makes it safe. Um, you know, if you ever did get in an accident or anything like that. Um, really cool thing about Winnebago is they're one of the only true. Oh sweetness! 
manuals. I love it. I know you're going to love that too. Um, one of the cool things about Winnebago is if you look on their cabinet doors, you will always see a sticker with a part number. That's because Winnebago is one of the only true, I think Winnebago and Tiffin are one of the only true manufacturers of RVs. Um, this coach is five years old. If you break this cabinet, all you got to do is look at that part number, call Winnebago, tell them that's the part number you need. They might not make it anymore, but they have the blueprints, they keep the molds to all their, everything they do, and they could fabricate that in no time and send you the part. Rather than going, oh, well, let me see who made that cabinet for us, you know, 10 years ago and see if they're still in business and we'll try to get back with you. They make it all themselves. That's kind of a benefit of Winnebago. Four-door fridge with ice maker. Got a little bit of pantry space here. Got a couple more drawers down there. And then in the kitchen area, this is kind of an extension. There's a little, uh, yeah, right here, a little handle right there. But you can push that in, give yourself a little bit of space if you didn't need it. I'm going to just drop my pen. Here's a little hint of the control panel. AC control. House battery. Solar charging when lit. Um, it's lit, so I guess it's got a solar charger. Generator controls. I mean, pretty much everything you need is just right there. Um, this does have a washer and dryer prep. It looks like they didn't put the washer and dryer in here, but if you wanted one, that's where we would put it. Most important, see the house. And then here's your... Uh, Good size uh, shower there. Sink area. Super handsome salesman. Hey guys. Um, I actually don't come with the coach. Um, okay, so this is one of the first things I noticed in this whole coach. It looks like there's a little crack right there. Something like that, that when we prep the coach, we take care of stuff like that. It's a, a queen size bed, and this is what I was telling you about. It's a little tighter in here. Um, basically, this is a slide from the Corian up, and it's kind of like a. Uh, probably should have turned it on, turned the lights on. Um, got a little mirror in there, almost like a little sit at the edge of the bed, do your makeup. Not you, Don, but your wife. Um, a little bit of storage over there. When this slide is in, this right here slides over top the bed. This one goes right up to the bed. You got cabinets and stuff down there. So this one doesn't go out too, too far. Um, this is actually isn't out all the way, by the way. Um, I probably could have put it out a little bit. Um, but that slide right there will go out quite a bit more. Um, give you a lot more access to that little walking area. I'd say it'll probably go out another foot. But a uh, little bit different in the bedroom with the bed being, uh, you know, being north and south instead of typically they go east and west. Um, Awesome coach, though. I mean, there's not a thing wrong with this. Um, we could probably fib and tell somebody it was a 2010 or something like that. It's it's just in really good shape. Um, oh, I'm so pumped that they have these manuals. I don't know if there's going to be any service records in here, but uh, they thought about their coach enough to keep all these in great shape. Generator. Yeah, they've got everything in here. So that is... Uh, that is good news. Appliances, electronics, plumbing. Uh, I don't know, all kinds of stuff in there. There's some vacuum extensions for the central vac. Operator's manual. I imagined on that they got their oil changed uh, on schedule if they've got all this stuff in here extra set of keys Let's see if there's any other goodies in these shelves anyways that's it um, I just want to shoot a video for you guys so you can kind of see it 
before you actually see it if you decide to come down and see it um, I'm gonna work on a price right now I know I can probably get you really close to what I was saying on the phone for your trade um, if you didn't have a trade we could probably sell this for really close to 90 if not 90 so I think uh, with your trade incorporated I think we'd really be able to put a good uh, good opportunity um, for you together on this so I'm gonna upload this and uh, send it your way hey these cabinets kinda look cherry <laughs>